All right, vlogging on a one wheel. I'm officially a YouTuber now. So <clears throat> this fly-in is amazing right now. The weather is great. Uh, we've had cloud cover all day, so it's been beautiful weather. Uh, there's probably 30 one wheels here. Everyone brought mini bikes and four wheelers and everything. So it's midday now, it's really windy. A couple guys tried to fly, but they were just parked right over the field. So uh, we're all just screwing around right now. Got something to eat, riding around one wheels around the pond, uh, enjoying the beautiful weather. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep going around meeting people and uh, try to get in the air sometime soon. Peace. This is Bad Apples Fly-In 2019. This is the fly-in down here. It is Friday morning, so this is my second day. Came here yesterday, I was uh, Thursday uh, afternoon that I got here and got a couple night flights in. And this is the obviously the first morning flight that I've been here. And if you remember last year when I came to this fly-in, this is where I crashed. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link above right here, but uh, I crashed on I think it was Friday morning, um, and it was the same thing as it is today, weather-wise. Still wind and um, wet grass. So, <laughs> yeah, so today was my redemption, and it went well. It was a good launch. I did film it, of course, so you're just going to have to believe me. And I am flying, so that's some kind of proof that I, that I launched. But, yeah, man, uh, actually, there's no carnage this morning. It's, it's pretty pretty calm but there's a lot of people here man look at that look at that all those campers it's insane um, and the weather's great it's windy up here but it's still wind on the ground so I don't know see yesterday I got here I didn't film anything um, it had been a while since I've flown and I really I had nothing to talk about I just wanted to get in the air and enjoy it so there was no talking, but yeah, I don't know. We'll try to piece something together. I don't really have a plan. I almost wasn't even going to bring a camera, but we'll see. All right, I'm going to finish this morning's flight out, and then I'll probably uh, land, talk to some people, and we'll have a bunch more flights by the uh, end of this, hopefully. So, yep, I'll catch you back. Peace.
All right, here we go, guys. So I don't have any audio for this next flight. I think I had the mic turned off or whatever, but this is my buddy Mike right here. And uh, I just landed, and I noticed that he's getting ready to launch. So right there, I just asked him, uh, how much fuel do I have left? And I just kind of turned, he looked at my tank, and he said, you got about four liters. So I think to myself, that's plenty. That's enough to uh, buzz around for a little while. So I don't take my motor off, and I don't check it for myself. So I'm just laying my wing back out, never took the motor off, and uh, I'm getting ready to launch. So uh, what I actually had was about a half a liter to three quarters of a liter of gas in there. So I don't know if he just made a mistake with his volume estimation or uh, looked at it differently if I was leaned over. I don't know what happened, but he was off by about a factor of four. So um, anyway, I'm getting ready to launch right here and um, I have no idea that I only have a half liter of fuel. So <clears throat> luckily the launch went well. I'm all set up here. Um, So the launch was uneventful. Pretty good. Uh, get in the air, catch up with Mike. That's Mike right there. We end up flying around. It's actually a pretty awesome flight. Uh, beautiful weather again this day. And um, we just kind of were doing a little exploratory flight. He had to leave a little bit later. So we're just flying around, um, getting a quick morning flight in before he had to go home. Uh, found this sweet little pond here. Saw a bunch of gators in there. Uh, really happy I didn't have a motor out right here. <clears throat> I had bailouts, but they were not ideal. Okay, so next you're going to see me checking my fuel. So I had a feeling I needed to check it, so I grabbed my mirror real quick, and I just double-check how much fuel I have, and I don't see any fuel in the tank. So I turn back toward the LZ, and right here is where my motor dies. So it just died right now. Mike's off to my right, <clears throat> and I'm going to guide you in here on my thought process. So I'm thinking first tell Mike that my motor's dead so he knows I'm going down. He confirms he heard me. He's like, yep, okay, go down, find a spot. So now I'm looking for an LZ. I'm looking for where I'm going to land. I can see on the other side of that field over there that there's a road. So I'm trying to get as far in that direction as I can while still maintaining a good LZ. So I picked the corner of this field right here. Um, so looking around, make sure there's no power lines. I don't see any. I'm still talking to Mike and I'm aiming for the corner of this field and end up hitting it perfectly. So I was pretty happy with that. And the dirt, even though it looked pretty hard, it was pretty soft. So I did kind of sink in a little bit. I had to really lift my legs and run, but didn't fall over. Wing came down in front of me, but whatever. Emergency landing, I was happy with it. Luckily, I had my uh, handy stuff sack with me. Shout out to Tony. He made that custom for me. Um, it made it really easy to carry this wing out. So all in all, I was really happy with the way that uh, the emergency landing went. Um, I had my stuff sack with me, and this is exactly why I carry it. Uh, super easy just to throw the wing in there nice and kind of hug it while you're walking and um, this was a hell of a hike out of there so this is doesn't look like it but the dirt is really soft the motor even though it didn't have any fuel in it it's still pretty heavy just to hike it hike it out of this but uh, yeah I probably had I don't know eighth of a mile walk out of this field and uh, I do pick back up here and uh, feel you know what's going on so here we go well well, I guess now's as good a time as any to vlog. So I made the mistake of uh, having somebody else check my fuel. After I landed for my first flight, I asked someone, say, hey, I got enough fuel for another flight. They said, oh, yeah, you got 45 minutes. Took off. I lasted 10. So another lesson learned. Uh, don't trust anybody but yourself. Just check your gear. I could have just taken my motor off and looked. Um, but... I checked it when I got in the air, and uh, it it looked empty. I was like, man, I don't see any fuel. I was like, but he told me 45. I'm maybe just not seeing it. I checked it again. I was like, no, there's no fuel in that damn tank. So I turned around and started headed back to the fly-in. Uh, I didn't make it, but I made sure I had my bailouts along the way because I figured I was going to run out of fuel. That being said, this is my first, like, motor out that I had to hike home. So, um, I don't know, man. It's, I'm happy the way I handled it. It, You know, you never really, you always say, oh, I'm going to land there. If I, my motor dies, I'm going to go there. That's my bailout. That's my bailout. But you don't really know until your motor dies at 150 feet and you have to land. You have no choice. You have to land. Where am I going? So... It worked out for me. I think uh, 
handled it well. My thought process was, okay, first find the LZ. I found it, edge of a field, perfect. Then I said, okay, where's home? So I found that. I could, st- I could see the LZ, or at least the direction I wanted to go. I could see that. And then I looked for a way to a road. So I saw this little, um, uh, I don't know, access road here from the air. So I knew this was here. And I knew this can go to the road. I go to the road here, take a left, about a half mile walk down the road. But good part is I was with a buddy, and he um, he saw me go down, and I told him I was going down, so he's able to go get a truck and come get me. So I don't have the whole half mile trip home. But yeah, man, so I got my little green pumpkin bag here. Worked perfectly. Stuffed the wing in there, hugging it, hiking it out. It's good too because. I skipped the gym yesterday and today, so a little uh, 60 pound backpack, hike through some mud is good for me, so yeah man, moral of the story, I guess there's two moral morals, check your own gear, don't rely on other people, they might be wrong, and two, always have a bailout, all right. I'll leave the camera going and we'll see how long it takes Mike to come get me. Man, this is like walking in sand. It's really deep. There's hell on my calf. Could be worse. Could be raining. And Frankenstein quote, anyone? No. Alright, I'm out. We're back. Camera's about to die. Uh, I'm gonna mix some fuel and go back up. So, lesson learned? Maybe? I don't know.